Hey guys, this is Pokemaniac101, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Shield. In the last episode, we were doing some catching in the wild area, and oh, Snover, why don't I, <laughs> why don't I just do that? Um, I don't have a Snover yet. Um, so yeah, I've, I've basically been doing, I've, I've basically just been catching Pokemon, and that is one of my new ones, this um, little Pancham named Larry. Uh, circle, oh, thr circle Throw, I think, ends the battle, actually, in a wild battle, so let's just use Arm Thrust, and Miss just protects that from, um, uh, status move, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I've, I've basically been doing a bunch of catching because if I caught every single Pokemon in, in video, then I'd never get through the story. I mean, I'm already, it's already January, people have already finished the stories, and I don't even have my first gym badge yet, so yeah, I, I, did, I did a bit of catching outside of episode, and to be fair, I'm gonna be circling through them anyway for the like the different gyms and stuff. Like I, I do wanna, I do wanna take some time to like use every uh, like each of my Pokemon. So uh, you can kind of see there my team at the moment. I've got a Pancham, I got a Wingle, Growlithe, uh, Mudbray, uh, Roggenrola, and Baltoy. So I guess that could be my main team for now. You guys could get to know my uh, main team. Uh, what do we name this Snover? I wasn't really thinking of names. Uh, it's a guy, so, uh, how about just, um, um, uh, let's name him, it, it turns into an abominable snowman, so, um, hmm, what do we name this guy? Um, let's think of, we can think of a nickname later, there should be a Pokemon Center right inside the, um, right inside the next city, which I guess we should just go into now, um, Oh, nope, I didn't mean to do that. I was meaning to show you um, some of the rest of the Pokemon I got, too. Um, I'm not going to list them all off because I got a bunch of them. I got... Well, I, I might as well list them off since I just about started. Uh, Ralt, um, uh, Bonsley, Temple, Snover. Um, this is a... Um, a uh, what is this guy? He's from Sun and Moon. And I never played Sun and Moon. Grubbin, that's what his name is. Um, I know he turns into like a little car thing, which is really cute, Sun and Ford. Um, this guy's new. Um, I, re I didn't really want to catch any like brand new Pokemon, like Galar region Pokemon, but this was during a raid battle. And I'd never seen it before and didn't think I'd have a chance to catch it for a while. So it's called a, it's called a Wimpod. I couldn't really think of a better name than Fred. Just <laughs> then, I also have uh, Mr. Krabs, the um, Krabby, and then uh, Quasimodo, the um, whoop, Whooper. I think that's just called. Um, it falls into Quagsire, and I was just trying to think of Q names. <laughs> so um, Quasimodo was. It seemed it seemed fitting. Just it just a little bit. Anyway, let's go into the big city. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like the bells. Whoa! This is a cool place. Let me just turn up my sound a little bit. It's an onyx there. It's like a giant. Ge Was that a door? It looks like. Ooh, that's um, that's the Charizard on that poster right there. That's wow. This is a really cool place. This place really feels steampunk. Like I can, I can definitely see it having like a steel type gym and. Uh, oh, I thought these guys were arguing for a second. <laughs> Here in the Galar region, I'd say it's fair to call the champion a regional hero. We're all transfixed by everything he does. Alright, uh, okay, here's the book. Oh, <laughs> it's really trippy not being able to control the camera anymore. Oh man, that, that feels weird. Alright, oh. Hey, over here! Uh, I was just about to go over there. Thanks for pointing me over to the Pokemon Center. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your trek ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. I was just about to do that. <laughs> Besides, there's something in there I bet you get a kick out of, if you're a real trainer and all. Did you see that poster in the background of the um, little turtle guy pulling the uh, tablecloth off the table? <laughs> oh, looks like the Rotomi's free. Rotomi are kind of Rotom information service. As a handy machine for trainers, you can even use one to customize your lead card. Why don't you try playing around with your lead card a bit, Pokemaniac? Here's a sample for you. You got Leon's lead card. Put the lead card in your album. Uh, Pokemon lead card. Show off your achievements by making a lead card. Uh, customize your card. Um, 
Okay. Traders all have their own lead cards and you swap cards with other traders you connect with using communication features. You can view all the lead cards you collected by checking the lead card option. But Modestoke sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. Alright. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on the stadium's pitch for the first time. Okay. <laughs> Um, I guess now would be the time to choose a nickname for, um, so we're actually, I still don't have a nickname, so why don't we, um, why don't we try to, I'll try to come up with one by the end of the episode, and then we can come back here to do that. Greetings, trainer, what can I help you with? <laughs> uh, check poker, poker jobs. uh, I'll just use the card maker. Uh, make a new league card, or update my current league card. Do I already have a, um, I print out your card just like, no, uh, let's make a new league card. Okay, first things first, love, let's start deciding your Pokemon League cards design. Uh, background, so there's this thing, this looks pretty cool. Um, I like the, <laughs> there's a lot of plaid, just saying. Uh, there's my hometown, there's Modestoke, there's this really cool, really cool, um, is, are those, are they supposed to be clean clanes in the background, or just normal gears? Um, there's some really cute Pikachus, there's a, uh, oh, this is the, um, this is the free Pokemon Switch game. I forgot what it's called, but you know, there's some free advertising for you there. <laughs> and then there's this really cool Lance picture. Actually, um, ooh, I, I like the Lance picture, and uh, not Lance. Um, Leon, <laughs> Leon. Oh man, I was thinking, um, yeah, I was thinking Lance. Uh, and then I guess, oh, these are effects. Uh, ooh, I really like, I really like that. Let's go with that for now. And then I, uh, I can do a little border. Uh, let's do the black. Black looks pretty cool. Next step. Um, I can. Oh, okay. I can move stuff. Move stuff around. Um, I can change moods, change expression, change pose. Um, I can have various poses. Uh, I like this. This one. This one seems kind of girly. So <laughs> so is that one, or this one. Um, I'm thinking. Let's go. Let's go with this one for now. Uh, change my expression. Um, whoa! <laughs> There's some really um strange faces down here. Ah, uh, that is a weird one. Um. Hmm. Whoa! The way <laughs> my eyes are going that way. Uh. uh this is really cool how you can do this. Uh, let's go with. I like this one for now, or or this one. Let's go with this one for now. And then change moods, uh, modes, not moods. Okay, <laughs> and then I can also rotate him. So let's let's kind of go like back to back with Leon. There we go. That looks cool. Uh, clear coating or matte. Um, I like I kind of like the clear coating, except I wish you could change the colors. Like, I don't think blue really works with the fiery background, so I'm gonna go with matte for now. And then print it. Woo! Our cards are even waterproof. No worries about rain getting on them. Alright, uh, might as well heal up my Pokemon as well, because uh, my Pancham actually got a little bit hurt. Did I catch everything there in a Pokeball? I normally like to, like, <laughs> I normally like to match my Pokeballs up to, like, the look of the Pokemon, like, color coding, but, um,. I guess I didn't do it. Um, actually, I think they might have. No, no. Oh, okay. I was hoping. I, I didn't. I was hoping it wouldn't trigger a cutscene. Hey, welcome to the Pokemart. Uh, how about I get some Pokeballs? Oh, that's just normal Pokeballs. I want to see if they have like different types of Pokeballs here that I can get. Uh, Heal Ball. Yeah, let's get. Let's get. Oh, let's get a few of those. Uh, let's get like ten of each. All right. Um, I say all right, like you're gonna answer. <laughs> okay, let's just get like ten each of these things, and then also a oh one premier ball on the house. Great. Um, I I have a few premier balls from getting um a bunch of yeah. I just, I just get a ton of premier balls like all the time. All right, let's go talk to Sonia now. So brilliant young trainer who's braved the the brave the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Modestoke is? I'm here for the gym challenge. Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. Opening ceremony? I thought the opening ceremony was like... Was like the opening cutscene. With like, 
Leon and stuff. Whoa, okay. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Moe's Stoke Stadium, okay? Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Alright. Well, later, I'm gonna swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? Alright. I wonder if she says, I wonder if tomorrow means like real time tomorrow, like they're not, they're not gonna let me in the gym challenge if I aren't, if I'm not here tomorrow in real time. <laughs> That'd be weird. Okay, I love this, I love this little poster right here, just saying. Uh, let's just explore the place a bit. Oh, there's something sparkly over here. He found a nugget. Uh, so this is actually, this, I recognize this is the place that was in the, um, it was in the trailer for, um, for Sword and Shield, like the announcement trailer that also gave us like the starters. Motostoke is something else. What other city has <clears throat> whoa. What other city has a lift to take you between the upper and the lower districts? Oh, I guess I can't go that way for now. Um, I wonder if they're kinda just like kind of um, casually leading me to the to go to over to the right place. Um, can I go down here? Or are they gonna block me off somewhere else too? Or no never mind it. Um I found a Pokeball in the trash can. Um, that's I'd say that's a new low for me. <laughs> you gotta throw Pokeballs. Throw them over and over to get your pitching technique sword. Leon throws his Pokeballs with so much energy. I wonder if the Pokemon inside get dizzy. Um, yeah, I've wonder, I wondered that kind of too. If you just throw your Pokeballs, um, the Pokemon will start feeling really dizzy. Is this like a flower shop? We use the Pokemon move growth to raise our flowers so they get rather large. Um, Alright, do I have to talk to someone to get some flowers? I always bring flowers home on special days or even normal days. My Pokemon loves the scent of flowers so much. Okay, I guess I can't really get any flowers right now. Ooh, is this a barber shop? I guess here would be. Welcome, lovely to see you. What would you like to do today? Hair, make no hair. And, and, I mean, no makeup. <laughs> Alright, let's have you in a chair. Take your packages and things. No, then what kind of look do you want today? Okay, so this is um, this is where I can style my character. Uh, let's go. Right, no. Uh, side part. Uh, let's go... Uh, no... Oh, this is like the... This is <laughs> oh man, if... If you've ever seen Avatar, you know why this is so hilarious to be here. Oh man, it, it's a Sokka cut! It's it's literally just a Sokka <laughs> Okay, uh, bulk... Uh, this one would probably be more close to like my real life hair. And then long hair, uh... Do I want Sokka hair or like realistic hair? Um, I can choose the color. Um, black, no, gold. Uh, why do they say gold? Why not just like blonde? Ash brown, caramel blonde, platinum blonde, pink brown, wine red, white. Oh, and then they just get to like the normal like kind of um, colored hairs. Uh, let's go, I'd say, um, I'd, I'd just stay with dark brown and then Undercut, uh, soccer cut, or normal haircut. Uh, let's go with, let's go with this right now. And then I can do this, <laughs> I can try the soccer cut out, um, later on. Yeah, this, that looks more close to what I am. Uh, do I want to put my hack back on? Um, I'll leave it out for now. Just tuck the hat back where you were, okay. You want to reprint your Pokemon League card too, uh, with my new haircut? Sure. Thanks for stopping by. All right, and then I guess the I guess this would be the clothes. Yeah, this definitely looks like a clothes store. Is this okay? <laughs> it looked it looked like it might have been closed for a second. Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Uh, okay, I got this bunch of shirts. Uh, what can? Oh, I like this. I like I like these. Um, blue or navy. Navy looks pretty cool. Uh, I'll think about uh navy or like black. I like those. Uh, gray, tan. This one's a nice one too. Um, okay, I'll I'll deal with that later. Uh, jackets. All right. Um, I don't want a varsity jacket. Um, let's get a let's get a like um, let's get a champ hoodie. <laughs> uh, gray greed. Wow. All right. Uh, champ hoodie. And then, uh, yeah, let's put it on. And then kind of put. Uh, one of the polos on underneath. Uh, do I want black or let's go with the navy polo underneath? Oh, I don't, I don't have enough money. <laughs> How much do I, is that? 70, do I have seventy-five? Oh man, 
I think that I think I literally just have 75 left. All right. Um, okay, so let's just let's just go by with the hoodie um, for now. I guess I'll have to wait. Was that Sonya in there? Sonya said something about like yeah. <laughs> My grand told me I needed to go on a journey, but a girl needs a bit of joy in her life too. Are you here to do some shopping as well? Don't forget to register. All right. Um, what's this? Oh, uh, do I have do I have different shirts? Oh, all right. Um. I guess I, I guess they already give me some different shirts, and I have skinny trousers I could do as well. Uh, trainer socks, white socks, black socks. Uh, let's go with the uh, let's go white socks for now, and then I, oh I can I can have glasses. Uh, blue, uh, red or blue. Mine in real life, mine are like hold on. Mine are like brownish, brownish black. Like they have like it's like brown with black kind of dots on it, like, um, I think it's supposed to be, like, tortoise or something, I don't know, I have no idea, and then I can, uh, have gloves as well, uh, red or blue, uh, let's, let's not use, oh, didn't mean to, um, can I take this off, yeah, there we go, uh, let's take off the, uh, let's use the red, let's go with the red glasses for now, and then, uh, I think that's, I think that's it, um, what, do I want to wear one of these shirts? Uh, let's go with the white shirt for now. Uh, go with this look. There we go. Update your league card. Sure. Why not? All right, this looks pretty cool. If I, I wish I could like change the glasses color, but that's probably that probably costs some money that I don't have. So um, <laughs> might as well go over to the um, go over to the gym stadium. And there's a lot of shops and stuff around here. Wow. Here, let me give you these high tech earbuds. Oh no, no, you think me? It's just to uh, um. I obtained a set of high-tech earbuds. Um, strange earbuds that allow you to freely control the volume. Yes. All right. Um, you know what's so high-tech about the high-tech earbuds? When you put them in your ears, they actually let you control the sounds of your surroundings. So you can even make stop them, make them stop specific sounds like Pokemon cries. All right, that is great. Um, is that is that just gonna be in the settings? Uh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I can adjust the volume now. Woo. Um. I probably won't affect you too much, but that that means that <laughs> that actually means a lot to kind of my recording set. Uh, what is going? Oh, it's um, uh, it's Leon and his Charizard. I truly never make it to the stadium without you sh to show me the way, partner. Oh man, he's did he get lost again? I also completely forgot my Leon voice. <laughs> Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Pokemaniac, all right. <clears throat> One look tells me that you become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try, being, try giving this to your partner to hold. You obtained a miracle seed. What does this do? Um, I'm to be held by Pokemon. It's a seed imbued with life force that boosts the power of grass type moves. All right. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're headed for the stadium next. Um, I was just about to do that until you interrupted me. So anyway, as I was saying about the earbuds, um, adjusting the volume really helps because I can't, I'll, if I can't adjust the volume in game, then I have to record my voice like separately, and Audacity doesn't like to work correctly, so I, there ends up being like a, just a really high pitched like little, um, I don't know, high pitched thing in the background. I, I, it's, it's annoying. But I kind of have to deal with it. But now that I can adjust the in-game volume, I can just turn this down and then boost the overall volume later. If you... I know this sound. <laughs> I know most of you will not care about this. But, like, if you if you want to make videos too, just, like, keep that in mind. If you record your voice and the gameplay on the same track, then you need to... You should probably make sure you can adjust at least one of the two volumes. Um, but, of course, most of you probably won't care. So, let's just go up here. And, oh, here's how... What is... Hold on, what is this guy? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ta-da! You took the time to talk to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. <laughs> what is this guy? You put the Pokeball in your po Max Pokeball pocket. In case you're wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball. But then who am I, you ask? Well, the answer to this is simple. They call me the Ball Guy. Is he just gonna... Alright. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, oh looks so there's like the different um, gym types on the back. Oh, uh, so it's like there's like the different gym types as banners. So like there's 
looks like grass. This is either like dragon or steel, f fairy, uh, dark. Uh, what else is there? Oh, uh, never mind. I didn't mean to trigger that cutscene. You made it too? Motostoke Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the, ceremony for the gym challenge. My mom, your mom, the whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. It's, I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Pokemaniac. It's time the world learned our names. I'm actually pretty excited. Like, he's a... He's usually over the top, but for for once, like this is actually exciting me too. Uh, is that? Oh, did me sit down there? Is that? I assume that's gonna be like fire, and then there's like water, ghost, and ice, possibly. Ice or like steel? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's just go into the stadium. I I I think I just said. I think I just guessed like three of the banners of steel. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they updated the music, too. Would you take a look at this? The place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is another rival. Let's get signed up. Alright. Who's that? Is he, is he gonna be, like, the blue? Like, the blue rival? Seriously, what a piece of work. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. See, I wonder if, like, Hop's gonna be our friendly rival, like, Sun and Moon was, but then that other white-haired kid would be, like, the blue, the, the actual rival, like, the blue, um, you know, smell you later, wanna kick his butt rival. <laughs> Fancy that! This is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion! Well, now that you've had two, well, uh, well, well now you've had two, because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact, and the next champion. Oh man, lol. <laughs> a little cocky. Um, get me all signed up, would you? Well, yes, I'm trying to, if you'll just give me a moment. There, you two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform if you'd be so kind. It'll be displayed on the back of the uniform you must wear. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, what do I choose as my number? Um... Mm, I'm not sure what to choose as my number. Uh... I feel like this is... I mean, <laughs> it's pretty simple, but like, I feel it's like, it's a pretty important, like, choice. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting this to be a, a, such a hard choice. Well I, well, I wasn't expecting to make a choice like this anyway, but like... Okay, let me think about this for a second. It shouldn't be just a hard choice. There's literally like 10 numbers I can choose from. Times 3, but... Oh, man. Six and a half hours later. Okay, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with 113. Number 113. Okay, there we go. Uh, opening ceremony for the gym badges will be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked at a room in the nearby buddy who drop in. That's the league chairman for you. He even booked us all the hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs. Um, okay. So I chose, actually, 113 is a, um, it's kind of a reference to, Pix uh, Pixar likes to, um, put A113 in all of their movies. So I just thought, you know, that'd be, this is, this is kind of the first thing that popped in my mind. And there's these little, like, I don't even think these are actual Pokemon, but they're in like every single game as statues. Uh, I can't actually click on it for now. Uh, so I guess we need to go to the Badu Inn? Uh, where's that gonna be? You must be Challenger Pokemaniac. The Badu drop in is down this way if you'd be so kind as to follow me. Alright, this is... I love the hospitality in this place. Whoa! Is it? It's like turning sunset. It's like it's like 3:30 for me. Like it's not. It shouldn't be turning sunset. Well, I mean it is winter, but still. Challenger Pokemaniac, we've arrived at the Budu Drop In. Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. I wonder if anyone's actually like tried to translate like the um like the letters. I'm not sure. <laughs> I saw there was some writing in the gym as well that said, like, something gym or something. Anyway, there's Sonia, and there's a really cool-looking statue. The, um, sword and shield. 
I feel like that'd be important. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be important at some point. Hiya, it looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh hey Sonia, what are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering world. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join? Okay, so I guess she's going to tell us the legend of, um, the legend wolves. <laughs> or so, well, Anyway, you hear it righty anyway. Ooh. What's this then? It's a statue over here who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Uh, give me all the details. This is really cool. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the Darkest Day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokémon, but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and shield. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero had actually had, and what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it was blo it blotted out the skies across Galar. I suppose that tracks with it calling I I suppose that tracks with it being called the darkest day, but still. Huh, I suppose that here must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're gonna have your hands full with plenty of research though, Sonia. Black storms and swords and shields and all. Uh Uh you'll be uh, oh, you'll be alright. <laughs> Thanks, I'll muddle through somehow, don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Uh, we just checked into the... Oh, never mind. There's a lot of checking in in this game. <laughs> Probably so. And we'll look out for you too, Sonia. If we hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Alright. So, I guess that's actually... Oh, there's some... I think that's Team Yell? Or... Uh, the... The evil team in this game, it looks like, is up there by the counter, but I will leave them for the next episode because I am kind of running out of time. <laughs> um, I was having... Uh, I haven't played Pokemon in a while, so I was just having fun, you know, like, with the, learning the legend of the st of the Galar region. But anyway, um, that is just about as much time as I have, so I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, it looks like we're going to have to deal with our first encounter with Team Yell and possibly even get a gym badge. So, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!